let's let's answer these questions first first before we go on to dr magudumana dr magudumana do you have any comments <laughs> only when i got into my 30s that i said well i want to live a long life i did not value myself more to know that i should have walked away back then younger and all of that i i didn't prioritize myself and my well-being and what i deserve as much as i do now marriage is not anything that's going to validate me or uh, um, uh, make me find or see any worth in myself you know and we want to build a life together whether that the marriage aspect of it comes in or not it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter business related course when it came to managing my finances was my father is my father he's very good at managing his finances hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i'm finally doing an updated q and a i haven't done one in quite a long time i haven't done one in quite a long time and to be honest i would rather have a drink here with me but a hey, the concept of going downstairs is too much so i wanted to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me on instagram and i did say that i'm going to be doing an updated q a and i thought to myself guys Ask me questions. You got any questions? Let's go. Let's hit it. Let's do the things. And of course, I got a couple of questions and we'll get into it. It's not that many. So this is not going to be a super long updated Q&A. However, I'm ready to answer your questions. Let's go. Let's go. Um, the first question is, have you subscribed to my channel? <laughs> Please do if you haven't. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Let's get into the video. The first question is, have you always had healthy habits? And the answer to that is no. Um, it's only in the last four or five years that I've actually taken priority over my mental health, over my physical health, over my emotional well-being as well, professionally wanting to grow myself and developing healthy habits in that way. So it really hasn't been my whole life probably only when i got into my 30s i started prioritizing things like my body and where i want my body to be and how i feel about my body i started moving away from certain movements when it comes to body positivity eating whatever you want to eat and what have you that's not what it meant for me for me body positivity means feeling good in your body and doing whatever it takes to feel that way and also looking after your body very very important for me and therefore because of that i ensured that i cultivate healthy habits when it comes to my body and what i eat and what i you know think about mentally in my mind i am a mental health advocate so it's really important for me to uh, constantly always be thinking about my mental health uh, looking after it going into therapy and doing all these things it's even more important now that i'm a life coach so i'm dealing with other people's you know uh, life transitions and all of that that i also need to keep track of my own life and my own uh, life transition so it's really important for me to keep going to therapy at this stage in my life so no healthy habits have not been a, a, a thing of mine in my 20s i was eating what i wanted to eat doing what i wanted to do living my best life all of that it's only when i got into my 30s that i said well i want to live a long life you know and i want to live a good healthy um you know th th i want the best parts of my life to be in, in in my 30s 40s 50s so because of that i need to focus on certain aspects of myself and i've managed to carry that through from then till now so quite impressed with that is cheating currently a deal breaker for you absolutely absolutely i think you know it's funny when you enter into a space in your life where you used to allow certain things like that. I used to not allow them, not necessarily allow, but I would stay in a relationship where I was cheated on because I did not find any, and I hate to say this, 
I do not value myself more to know that I should have walked away. Um, I wanted to keep the relationship. I felt like maybe I was the one who was in the wrong. Maybe I need to do certain things. Maybe I need to change it up a little bit. Maybe I need to this, that, and the other. Da -da 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 -da. And then I got into a relationship where I realized that no, there is an importance in someone valuing you, respecting you, but also you seeing your worth. And right now, cheating for me is definitely a deal breaker and it'll always be a deal breaker from this moment going forward. Um, I think when I was back then, younger and all of that, I, I didn't prioritize myself and my well-being and what I deserve as much as I do now. Now I'm very, very territorial about my peace of mind. I'm very, very um, strict about um, I'm very, very strict about whether you're going to respect me, whether you're this, I'm very, very particular about what I expect from a partner. So for me, cheating is definitely a deal breaker. Uh, with all your recent achievements, are you celebrating yourself? I hope you are. Yes, yes. Because if there's one thing that I did learn as well, going into, you know, uh, working on yourself, focusing on yourself, all of that is to celebrate yourself as well in the same regard. So yes, I put a lot of work into, you know, studying, becoming a coach and, and, and doing the workbook and all these other things and all these, um, you know, opportunities that are coming my way right now that I can't help but celebrate myself. I have to. Because there's been many a night where I wasn't sleeping and studying and, and doing this and that and the other. Um, there's been many a time where I have been in mental slumps when I just didn't, I didn't see the purpose and the point of going on or going any further. And now I look back and I think, what is this me? So yeah, and I enjoy it and, and I, I go out. One of the things that I love to do is try out different restaurants, new places to eat um, because I love to eat. I do. I just, I just eat very good food. I eat healthy food. Um, so one of the things that I love to do is, is I'm quite particular about um, my downtime, my rest time. And in my rest time, I enjoy it with my family. I do little day trips. I do uh, solo dates quite a lot. I do, I spend a lot of time with Diesel. There's plans in the works for international trips and things. So I, it's just, it's there, it's there. I'm definitely celebrating myself because I feel like uh, I didn't work hard, sis. Okay, what are your current thoughts about marriage? I love this question because I have a whole entire video about what I feel about marriage on my channel. I'll link it down below. Um, and I am proud to say I still feel the same way about marriage. I still feel like marriage is not anything that's going to validate me or uh, um, uh, make me find or see any worth in myself. The purpose of me being with Diesel right now is not to marry him. The purpose of me being with him right now is because we love each other. That's it. You know, and we want to build a life together. Whether the, the marriage aspect of it comes in or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? It really doesn't matter for me because at the end of the day, I have chosen this person to be my person. Okay? He is my person. But I've also chosen, I've actively, intentionally chosen him to be my person. So I'm going to bring everything to the relationship, but it doesn't have anything to do with marriage. Should Diesel say, girl, I'm going to marry you, which he has many times. I don't even know why he's wasting my time because really at this point I should have a ring on. It's rude. Anyway, <laughs> which he has multiple times. So I know that it's something that he believes in quite a bit. So when it happens, it'll happen. I'm not going to say no i don't believe in it and all of that and no no the whole purpose of being with someone is you know they make you happy and you make them happy and if 
following his trajectory of what he wants for himself in terms of the marriage aspect, I'm willing to cave in a little bit. But I still see me, I don't, I don't see marriage as a validation for me in any shape or form. Um, hi, Kat. Hey, girl. How do you stay consistent in all areas of your life? I don't know. No, I ain't even finna... No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Uh, consistency is hard and uh, to keep up. It's really hard to be consistent, but it always boils down to the same things. Time management, planning, goals, setting goals. Because when you set plans and goals, you stop yourself from being distracted by other things. So you give yourself more time to focus on those things, especially if you're looking at them every day. So for me, I've got my iPad that's in the back here. And every time I switch it on, there's a page that comes up. Well, my... my what is this? The wallpaper that comes up are certain goals of mine and certain intentions and affirmations and things like that that I look at every single day. When I look at my workbook every single day, I know that, okay, I want to have achieved this. I want to have done this by, you know, the next three months. I want to have achieved this by the end of the year. I want to have achieved this. So it's that kind of thing where you have to give yourself time. You have to manage your time very well and consistency it, time plays a huge role in you being consistent. Time management plays a huge role. So for me, I don't know how I, how I do it. Sometimes I really do break my back. I really do break my back and I get tired and I get burnt out. Last week I was really burnt out. I was just like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to film. I don't want to... And I, 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 you know, and I had a little bit of a panic attack and I had an anxiety attack and I, and I broke down a little bit because I just wasn't, I just wasn't with it anymore. I really just wasn't with it anymore. And, um, that was, <laughs> that was hard for me, but I have those moments, but over and above, I've made consistency and time management my lifestyle. And I've made things like looking after myself and cultivating healthy habits a lifestyle of mine. And so because of that, is, that's what helps. That's what helps. Does your man watch your videos? If so, what are his comments regarding your funny videos? He's just like, I barwin. That's what he'll say. He'll just laugh and be like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. And then that's it. So he does watch my videos. He does. He, he religiously watches them. So every time I put, well, not religiously, I think there's certain videos that he just won't watch. Uh, but a lot of the time he watches my videos because it's, it's his way of, you know, supporting my content. He supports my content also by getting me certain things, certain techie things, certain things that will help me with my content creation and all of that. So he's quite supportive. And with the funny videos, I mean, I'm funny. <laughs> so, I mean, duh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm funny. So of course he must support my funny. I mean, duh. Um, hi Kat, what motivated you to study hard and do your assignments? The fact that I wanted to pass school motivated me. That was motivation enough. The biggest thing, for me when it came to studying hard and all of that was the fact that this, especially in this particular one, not, not varsity days and all of that, with studying now for my new purpose and my new drive in life with being a life coach and all of that, what pushed me with that is because of how intentional it was to my purpose in life. So it was really important for me to be the best I can be and, and great, get great results from my assignments, tests, whatever, so that I know that I can fully bring myself to this career. And because of that, I, I did that. I did that, Miss Mamas, okay? And it was an intentional part of my life where I felt like I want to be the best life coach I can be. I owe it to myself, but I also owe it to my clients. So it's not only the assignments and the schooling and all of that. I also read books on life coaching and business coaching and um, um, uh, mental health coaching as well. So I, I do side reads of articles and psychologies today and all of that 
because I want to give the best of myself to this. And I've realized that that's who I am now. A part of my life is to help others in, in any way, shape or form that I can. And here I am. And that's what motivated me. Um, when do you think you would like to retire from your corporate job? Not anytime soon. I like to be productive. I like to be busy. I like for my mind to constantly be running and learning new things and all of that. So definitely not anytime soon. For me, um, I'm just going through a transition right now. I'm, I've, I've moved into a new phase of my professional life and, and, and a new career, which I'm really excited about. And for me, that's one of the things that I love the most. I want to challenge myself. So if I feel like with the project management and all of that, I've been in an industry where project management plays a very prominent role in construction and civil engineering. However, there's always been that other part of my life that wants to help that I wanted to actually study psychology in school. So. Here we are now and we're doing life coaching and it's just like, well, now I'm really excited. So as much as I, I still have my job, my day to day job and all of that, but this life coaching is my other day to day job. And I love that too. So it's a good time. It's good vibes. It's definitely a good time. I'm not going to retire anytime soon. No. Do you take supplements? Yes, I do take um, the normal, especially when we're transitioning into winter, I take your normal zinc. I take all the vitamin C. I take, what's the other one? There's another one that I take. It's zinc, vitamin C, and something else. I do also take uh, the vital female woman supplements. And I also take my probiotic every day. So I do take supplements every single day. I do. I do. Um, okay. Did you do any business related course to help you manage your finances as well? No, my business related course when it came to managing my finances was my father is my father. He's very good at managing his finances. He is extremely good with managing money and he does not forget if he gave you 10,000 Rand, which he hasn't in a very long time because he don't like me like that no more. I'm actually the one giving him money anyway. If he gives me a money, he will remember. If he has paid this and I'm like, no, but you haven't, He'd be like, I paid it. He remembers. And he taught me budgets and he taught me uh, um, managing my money. I haven't been that great at it, honestly. And I think it's only now in the last couple of years that I'm actually settling into understanding the importance of money and putting money away and all of that. COVID was a big catalyst to that. Um, because I spent a lot of my money, uh, personal savings during COVID because we took a really hard knock at work and all of that. So after that, I'm now rebuilding that again and starting again. And it's not easy, trust. But no, no, I didn't take a financial course. Some small I, I did not. I didn't. Favorite book so far? Hamnet. Definitely Hamnet. That's the, in, in, in terms of the last couple of books that I read, Hamlet was the one that stood out for me. It's a really, really great book. Um, why Oli Mutla so? Why is it I can say it. And why Oli Mutla so means why he's so beautiful. I don't know. Ask my mama and my daddy and my, my God. Okay. That's it. <laughs> have you ever considered marriage or kids so far and when last did you go to church that's a good one i haven't been to church since i'd like to say sometime in january it's bad um and i know that and i do i it i ache to go to church i really want to go to church and sit in the church uh, my faith hasn't wavered in any way because I, I pray and I talk to God every day. Uh, but I, I miss being in church. I haven't been to church in quite a while. Um, well, I think we, oh, I'd love to register for you to coach me, but my finances don't allow. Listen, when it comes to the coaching, I think I'm going to end it here. Okay. But when it comes to the coaching, I have special rates for people who are students and I have special rates for people who need the coaching but can't afford the standard rate. Um, that's why right now for the month of April and May, I am still running the 25% off each first consult. But if you're a student, 
we have special rates for students, but you'd have to produce your student card so we can see it, that you are a scholar somewhere. And um, then we can give you the rate that is special for students. But if you are working, we can talk. However, I'm not going to drop the rate significantly, but I can make, um, I can help a little bit. So if you are interested in my life coaching services and you're doubting the fact that you might be able to afford or you're thinking that, ah, I can't afford or whatever, give, talk to me. Let me know. Just drop me an email and say, look, blah, blah, blah. And then we can negotiate and then we can see where uh, to go from there. And if you can't do the life coaching courses, I mean, uh, sessions and consults, I really implore you to pick up the workbook because the workbook might also help in that aspect. Because when I created the workbook, I had a lot of life coaching aspects in mind when I did that. So that workbook is also available. You can check down below in the description down below. But um, please don't feel nervous to contact me and think, oh my God, she's probably so expensive. Yes, coaching is not cheap. However, at the same time, it is my job and I cannot, uh, uh, um, you know, charge peanuts for my time, my resources, the programs, the tools that I give to all my clients. However, I am very open to negotiating. So if you're interested in that, then definitely let me know. Okay, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go. The power is about to go in a minute. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all your questions. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. Until the next one, keep well, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara.